Hi peoples, Billy the Crayon here, and welcome to the next episode of my Skyrim roleplay series. And, uh, yeah, uh, this is the first video that I started since I got the new computer. And I just want to give a quick shout out before I start to a channel called Gophers Vids. He does a Skyrim mod sanctuary video. He also makes mods as well for for Skyrim and uh, Fallout series, uh, games like that. So uh, he knows what he's doing. Um, he's involved in some really good, uh, important add-ons for Skyrim. And but the main feature, uh, the main thing that I like is that um, he has this Skyrim Mod Sanctuary uh, series. And that series is amazing. It's, it's a Mod Spotlight series. And there's a there's ton of Mod Spotlight um, shows on YouTube. The thing I like about this one is that he focuses primarily on immersive uh, gameplay and immersive add-ons. So you're not going to see like uh, My Little Pony mounts that you can fly and or that you can ride and crap like that. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to give a little shout out to because uh, I modded this out before my computer crashed and then the computer crashed then I, I was like uh, I was worried that I was never going to get be able to get this back and everything and there are some still some issues uh, as you can see here this uh, my health is lower than it should be that is due to a problem with one of the uh, add-ons that I used to have installed the problem is I did not do a complete, uh, a clean uninstall. Um, at least I didn't do it properly, and that was uh, lower. Uh, I did that. I made the mistake uh, again. Well, I wasn't able to do a clean uninstall before because the computer uh, crashed on me. Like it, it, it uh, completely died. So because of that all of these stats were much lower uh, and they and they were stuck there but I was able to reinstall that add-on do perform a clean uninstall and now I got it back to this point but this is still going to uh, it's not really that much of a problem I don't think I'm, I'm not gonna worry too much about it but uh, yeah I went to Gophers Vids uh, the, the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary show and I uh, basically watched through all of the uh, um, the whole series starting from the anniversary uh, episodes, which is about where I left off a little bit after that. And I found all my favorite add-ons again and reinstalled them, plus a few others. I'm going to have the um, list of add-ons that I'm using in this. I'm going to have them all listed... Uh, in the uh, description of the video so you'll be able to check it out um, and there's going to be a uh, uh, a link to gophers channel possibly an add-on stuff like that so anyways uh, let's get to it uh, last you left left off I just started building this house I have it mostly completed now I skipped ahead because of the fact that it's a little, uh, it would take me forever to get all of this done because you need a lot of materials and I gave up and decided to fast travel all over the place in order to get the stuff I need and uh, cheating and stuff like that. I didn't want to show all that so I skipped all that out. To this and just pretend that it is a new house that uh, 
Uh, it's uh, just pretend that I, I built it all by myself. <laughs> With a lot of hard work. But I'll just uh, do a quick little uh, walk through. Uh, like I say, it's not completely finished. There's a few things I can add here and there, but uh, and I don't have uh, I don't have a, a room there yet. But I decided to put in a kitchen. And uh, there's a uh, storage room back there. And down in the cellar. Uh, there, This is basically the basement. This is more of a man cave type of an area. Um, including like, a little workbench and stuff like that. Just, It's kind of like uh, what... You see, in today's day and age, with uh, like a man's uh, um, like a man's uh, garage or workshop type of thing uh, uh, in his basement, and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, that's basically the house. So we are going to uh, we're gonna get going here, and we're gonna head to Falkreath. But uh, yeah, this is a really nice looking area here. Except for the snow. Damn it. But, yeah. That is that. And there's a road going down this way. Forgot to mention. And... I also got rid of the altar here because I just this is ugly. <laughs> Don't want to deal with it all the time. But let's get going. We're going to head now to Falkreath. Because there's some unfinished business that we can do there. Hang on. Oh, there's something else I'll need to show you as well. Ooh. Nice. Whew, okay. Oh shit, look at that. Very nice. <laughs> Talk about cleaning up. Feed us for a bit. Yeah, we're, there he is. Oh yeah, the other thing I have to show you is too. Um, with uh, the bow, if you. We're watching my channel. Um, there was a video about uh, an issue that I was having with the bow. Basically, how it's doing this. I found out how to fix it, and I'll show you how to fix that right now. So, if you're having this kind of an issue, uh, which I understand is from um, 
uh, just with add-ons and stuff, changing and replacing add-ons and everything, you go to your uh, console, type in show race menu, oh wait, I have to actually uh, press it. <laughs> and then you can turn the console off you don't need to change anything here just go to done and accept don't need to change your name but now it's fixed so that is basically how you can fix it so if that happens with you guys, uh, feel free to uh, do that. But uh, now let's keep heading to Falkreath. Although it is uh, pretty cold at the moment. With the snow and everything. We just want to get there and be done with it. No more, uh, no more hunting for the time being. Who are you? Hey, important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay. I believe it's just down this way. Yeah, this is the uh, dog. Got to do that to this guy. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Loyalty gear first, and the Empire second. Yeah. Yeah, the dog you asked me to get. He ended up being a lot more trouble than he was worth. <laughs> anyway, it's done. Time to move on. Much obliged. Here. It's not much, but take it anyway. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. Good boy. <laughs> yeah, one thing he, um, uh, Shalevin is, uh, uh, every time he sees a dog like that, it just reminds him of his failure when uh, he took responsibility of a dog. He's glad he does Take not have to deal around. with that anymore. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If well met, unlike my brother, I have no dislike of strangers. Met lots of them while I was a stormcloak. Oh, you were a stormcloak. I was once, but not anymore. I was wounded in a skirmish up near Windhelm. This was years ago, mind you. Now, maybe I don't pick up a blade in Ulfric's name no more, but I still hold with his ideals. Skyrim is Nordland, and we ought to rule it. We don't need no help from the Empire on that count. I must agree. You mentioned a brother? Bowen. He's the one who works the lumber mill down by the river. If you meet him, don't expect much in the way of conversation. He ain't one for talking, especially with folk he don't know. Yes, I, I uh, met him. I had to, uh, I had some business with him before. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So yeah, let's see what he has to sell. Or let's see more so what I can sell him. Uh, Amulet of Mara. Yeah, I don't need that. Or that. Uh, 
Oh, that's from uh, an add-on <laughs> that I won't be using for this uh, playthrough, but... Now let's just let's do this right. Let's see this stuff here. I shouldn't be able to sell these uh, things for uh, um, add-ons and stuff. What the hell do I need a bombing tools for? Are those uh, I'm gonna keep some of this stuff we have books I'm gonna uh, fill a uh, small bookshelf uh, at the manor that I have. I'm gonna keep some of this stuff because I can use it for uh, um, for stuff in the uh, manor as well. What do we have here? Oh wow. Um, yes, get rid of that. Oh, he's out of gold. Just about. Um, don't need that anymore. Uh, Oh yes, the Shroud of the Grey Fox. I think I'm going to hold on to that. And this uh, Shrouded set as well for now. And... You can have that. Long bow, yeah, I don't need that. Uh, there you go. Good enough. Steal anything from my shop, and you'll regret it. Yeah, relax, buddy. But nice meeting you. Otherwise. with me like one of those damned shopkeepers <laughs> okay I don't know what it is with guards they they sound like uh, they sound like call center employees good to see you finally someone useful is around <laughs> what? Thank you. <laughs> yes. What is it that you want? Uh Is there anything else you may need? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my fame. Hmm. Well. He has a house here, or at least close to here and everything. And he does like this area of Skyrim. So, um... Yeah. On your way. You'd like to do that. 
Assist. Come and see me again sometime. I might have some use for you. Now, I already assisted one. Let me just, uh... Only a hearty soul travels the road these days. I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. The true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. <laughs> cool. Only inside the gates. Much of Falkrith hold is wilderness and there's plenty of trouble to be had. Hmm. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. But, uh, let me uh, see here real quick. So many of these that I'll never do either. You see this? I already completed one of these. But I don't know if that's going to be bugged now or what. But, yeah, I need to find some people to help around here. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Wow, this is a lot more darker than Short it should bones. be. Handsome man in Falkry. Let's uh, turn this up so you guys can see here. There we go. Once was a hero named oh, Ragnar shut up. A <laughs> strong drink will chase off that chill in the air. Welcome to Dead Man's Drink. But then he went quiet. Did At some point, you should hire people say there's someone in Riften that can change your face. Make you look completely different. Oh, you, you believe that? Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. Do you hear any juicy gossip in town? Be sure to share it with me. <laughs> well, you haven't been telling me anything special, anyways, so. I escaped fighting in Cyrodiil, only to have it track me down again in Skyrim. Hmm. I've half a mind to ask if you'll take me on one of your what adventures. What can I do for you? But I can't just leave Volga on her own. I'm a bard, trained at the Bard's College in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. <laughs> Keep a song in your heart. I didn't know there was anything to do with the Bard's College. Hello. Unless you intend to bury someone, this isn't the place you're looking for, traveler. You're burying someone? Well, Falkreath is known for its graveyard, traveler. We've buried more dead than you can imagine. I just finished giving my old war companion Barrett a proper burial by fire. Old Hardhead hated the idea of being lost cold in the ground. Could you deliver the ashes to Runil, the priest of Arke? He'll know the right blessings to make for Barrett's soul. I, I, I suppose so. Uh, sure. Thank you. All right. So I need to find Runil, a priestly type guy. And now let me turn that brightness down. Yeah, this is a pretty, uh, pretty depressing area. Sad time. Our daughter. 
Our little girl. She hadn't seen her tenth winter. Mm, sorry to hear that. Yeah, how did she die? She was... He ripped her apart. Like a saber cat tears a deer. We barely found enough of her to bury. Wow. Who did this? Sinding. Came true as a laborer. Seemed like a decent man. He's stewing in the pit while we figure out what to do with him. If you've got the stomach to look at him. What could drive a man to do something like this? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna ask that because it's obviously gonna be Just gloomy to him. What kind of man does that? Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Good thing they caught him. Can I help you? I'm sorry, I can't really help you. I'm just Dengir's maid. <laughs> Where's that priest at? leather armor, huh? Something to be said for going night. Mm-hmm. Barracks. There wouldn't be a priest up there. Shrine of R.K. He, he's a priest of R.K., right? These graves hold the sons and daughters of Falkreath. Is he? Show respect while you're here. That's him. Responsible for the cemetery here in Falkreath. That was a guy that asked me that asked me to give the ashes to this guy. Why could why didn't he just do it himself? himself? You have only to stand in our cemetery to see that. You're a priest of Arcae? I, I came into Arcae's light after the Great War. So many died by my hands, my magics. I'm fortunate that Kust and the people of Falkreath have come to accept me as one of their own. Could you do an old elf a favor? I misplaced my journal in a cave I was exploring. I'll pay for its return. Mm, I suppose so. Blessing of Arcade to you for your help. Where's this uh, cave at? And I have a delivery ah, for you. Barrett's ashes. He was a good man. Not many warriors grow to a fine old age. Thank you for bringing this to me. I'll make sure he gets his rights. Here, for your trouble. 400 gold? To deliver some ashes? Okay. Oh, merciful Arcade, okay, no. I'm too old and frail, and this graveyard is too large. Kust is my assistant. 
He helps me tend the headstones and keep our cemetery clean, as befits a place of rest. <laughs> that journal means a lot to me, if you find it. Well, I'll uh, keep an eye out for it. Anyone else? Who's this guy? I was Jarl once, but I was encouraged to step down when I took sides with the Stormcloaks. It was an Imperial plot, I tell you. An Imperial plot? Well, not against me, against all of Falkreath. Like Those Imperial yeah. bastards You're are spying on every one of us. Yeah. Last night I saw Lord the Blacksmith writing a letter. <laughs> Probably sending word to Solitude and General Tullius. Are you loyal to Skyrim? Break into Lord's house and get that letter. Wow. Um. <laughs> uh, well, I definitely don't like Imperial, so if he is a spy or something, then... Good. He hey, said you were Yarl? Oh, wait, let me... Uh... Mind what you say. The Empire has ears oh, all over this town. To both, Nari. Look alive, will you? Oh, and as soon as I sit down, he gets yes, up. Mom. What? You want to drink? You want right, to well, drink? Not right now. You want to drink? Okay, <laughs> leave me alone, lady. Jeez. Okay. What time is it? It's almost 6 p.m. Oh shit, someone saw me. Who saw me? Oh, he did, I guess. <laughs> well. That was, uh, huh. It's only a five gold fine. Come on in. So. Warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. You want a drink? Be mindful. My maid, Tikla, has been known to pass information to that pompous nephew of mine, Sidgear. I think this guy is just What's crazy. This, some kind of code? Need as much iron ore as you can dig up? Well, he's not spying, but it's clear the Empire's making Lods smith up more swords and armor for them. Good work. Take this. At some point we should hire Tekla on here. Well, that will pay for the bounty. <laughs> now, what exactly do you need? You may have seen the open grave in our graveyard. Most of the townsfolk think it's the work of a corpse thief. The truth is less pleasant. It is, was, the grave of Vigar, my own ancestor, dead for centuries now. He is also a vampire. My family is entrusted with keeping him buried. Hmm. But recently, someone stole the ward stone. And Vigar escaped. And you want me to find the Wardstone? No, it's too late for the Wardstone. Vigar must be destroyed. If this gets out, my family will suffer great shame. Hmm. <laughs> Vampire, I don't think so. Good. Let's see what I can do. He will have fled to gather others of his kind. Okay. Mark my words, I'll be Jarl again someday. 
Well, that is that. All right, we got a few things to do outside of town here. So let me just uh, check the map here, see if I can... Uh, uh, the uh, world map. But I need to know the names of uh, these places. So let me... Journal. Uh, vampire find Runil's journal inside Moss Mother Cavern and destroy the vampire Vigar. So there's Moss Mother, and this is it's the bandit leader one. Who knows where that vampire is then? But it looks like that is going to be the next place we go to. But it's getting late right now. So I think we will head home and have a rest. And then we will get back at this in the morning. Now in case you probably could tell, uh, this video is in 1080p. And it is also um, in like much higher quality. Like It just looks better and everything than the um, old Skyrim series or any of my other videos. Well that's because I'm using a... Uh, new uh, um, I'm using fraps for this because this game doesn't seem to like my uh, other uh, my other program that I use which is Bandicam. I always use Bandicam because I can just basically record it and upload it to YouTube right away but with this, like this video is going to be like uh, huge. This might be over a hundred. Uh, oh, this might be over a hundred gigs in size. So I'm not going to be able to straight up uh, upload this. So. This will take a little bit more work. So I'm going to have to actually render this off. But let's uh, put the horse in here for now. If I can. Well, let's just put the horse up by here for now. Okay, stop. Okay, let us never do that again. <laughs> so for now, I'm going to bed. Or, actually, there's some other things that, uh, let me just see here, because I picked up some more, uh, oh yeah. I 
I picked up some more antlers and stuff, so I might be able to uh, craft some more uh, decorations for here. But I need the workbench in order to do that. Oh, come on. <laughs> there we go. Let's just add these workbenches for now. down here. Oh, no, I need large antlers. Oh well. Oh well. That's going to be it for now. I'm going to get some uh, really good uh, sleep in here and that is going to be it for this episode so uh, I hope you enjoyed let me know what you think of the video and everything and until next time guys have a good one